We present GASP, Gaussian avatars with synthetic priors. GASP is a novel method for creating highly realistic, real-time animatable avatars with full 360-degree rendering capabilities using easily obtained data. Several recent avatar models have been based on Gaussian splatting. While these Gaussian avatars can produce very high-quality results when trained using multiple cameras, such setups are not available to an average user. An ideal model should be able to be trained using only a single camera. Existing Gaussian avatar methods suffer from poor novel view synthesis when trained using only a single camera, as shown here. To address this issue, we propose using a generative prior train over many people to produce Gaussian avatar parameters. This train prior can then be used to fill in the gaps left by missing data in the single camera user enrollment, for example, at the sides and back of the head. However, training on such a large-scale real-world data set is difficult. Existing data sets often lack full head coverage and sufficient diversity and suffer from imperfect annotations, such as morphable model parameters and camera calibrations. For this reason, we use a large, synthetic data set. This diverse data set has perfectly accurate labels, including perfect correspondence to an underlying 3DMM. We train our prior model as an autodecoder. Each subject in the data set is assigned a latent vector Z. We then train our prior network to map these latent vectors together with the camera and 3DMM parameters associated with each frame to obtain the parameters of a Gaussian avatar. The result is a generative model of Gaussian avatars as shown here. We can now use user enrollment data in the form of a single image or short video like the ones shown here, and fit an avatar for the user. We initialize the decoder for the user using the prior. We then optimize a single latent code for that user using all available data. To prevent overfitting, we regularize the output Gaussians towards the prior. Our fitting process has three stages. First, we optimize the latent code Z for our subject, resulting in a fully synthetic looking avatar. We next fine-tune the decoder MLP. By taking advantage of correlations in Gaussian features, we can update the color to match the back of the head despite never having seen this region for this subject. Finally, we fine-tune the Gaussians directly to improve the quality in the areas we have data for. Here are some results. We train each of these using a short monocular video capturing the front of the head. For these results, we fit the avatars using a single image only. We compare our model to existing state-of-the-art. Here we compare with Gaussian avatar models. Each model is trained on a single video. We also compare with models designed for monocular training. Next, we compare with models designed for single image avatars. These avatars are trained on only one image. Finally, we compare to the recent paper, Kafka. Like our model, Kafka trains a prior on synthetic data. However, their model cannot be animated, producing static expressions only. Kafka also takes 20 seconds to generate a single frame using four TPUs, whereas our model runs in real time on a single commodity GPU and may be freely animated. Thanks for watching.